What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Man Cake. You do unlock him during this season at level 29. He is an epic outfit. He is part of the Breakfast Bandit scent. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So, Man Cake. Man Cake is actually a very interesting skin. He does have that old Wild Wild West look to him, and he does have a very interesting backlink called the Breakfast Bounty. You do unlock the Breakfast Bounty at level 33, which isn't really that off from the skin itself, and they're both very unique to this game. Now, Man Cake is, it has an enlightened style, and it also has so many different selectable styles, but for our purpose here in this video, we're gonna be looking at the default style. What makes him very interesting, he, do, he does have a pancake stack on his head, he does have eyes on it, and then he does have a piece of butter on top of his head. Also, the belts he does have across his chest are also butter sticks, which is very funny, and I just love this skin. So what are my thoughts about him? At first, when I saw the trailer, it just didn't make sense for him to be included in the game just because he was dorky and every other skin in the game was very serious. But in the end of the day, I love dorky skins, and the skin itself is actually very good, and it kind of reminds me of McCree from Overwatch. So what's my final rating on Man Cake? I'm gonna have to give Man Cake an 8 out of 10. The styles he does have actually does help him. He does have about 4 and then he does have those enlightened styles, which in my opinion I really don't count them. My favorite style from all of them is the, the cake with no name style, which actually does have an all outfit that is all black and then he does have a hat on, which is very cool and it just looks amazing. Overall, the skin is very solid and even the back knee itself is very funny and I just love this whole set. So without further ado guys, let's get this combo started. For our first combination with Man Cake, I am pairing him up with the Gunny Sack. Now the Gunny Sack actually does look like it belongs with him. It does have that Wild West look to it, it does have a shotgun planted in the center of it and the color schemes of it just matches really good with Man Cake. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Batsicle. What I really like about the Batsicle, it does have a bat with a machete on top of it and it just looks like something he would actually be using and then the color scheme of all brown matches really good with his outfit then for the glider we're gonna be going with the crossfire the crossfire looks very clean it does have that wild west feeling as well it does have that leather strap on top of it and it just complements the skin very well then for the control we're gonna be going with the tp the skin itself is already goofy so might might as well add a goofy control to the skin the tp is hardly ever utilized so i just thought it was a nice fit with him and for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the call sign falcon. Now the call sign falcon does have that brownish color scheme that is similar to that of the outfit and harvesting tool, and that is the main reason why I'm using it. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the man cake, I am pairing him up with the Goldilocks. Now this combination is actually very cheap and you can, it's very affordable if you actually are in a budget. Now the Goldilocks does go for 200 V-Bucks but it matches really good. He is a bounty hunter, after also having gold as a payment just made sense. Also the gold itself does match really good with the butter he does have and the brown sack itself matches really good with the brown that the outfit does have. Then for the harvesting tool, we're gonna be going with the throwback axe. Now the throwback axe is a very cool harvesting tool. It's very simple, but man cake could be a simple man. It actually looks very good on him and the simplistic just adds to the skin itself. And for the glider, we're gonna be going with the plunder. The plunder was actually obtainable for free if you are playing since season eight. The plunder itself does have that brownish color scheme on the wings themselves and then reddish on top of it that just looks very clean with the skin. Then for the control, we're gonna be going with the spectral essence. The spectral essence is very simplistic, but it matches really good with the skin. And for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the mayhem. The Mayhem Wrap does have that default color scheme of brown that just looks amazing and complements the brown of the aesthetics color schemes of the skin and backlink. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with Man Cake, I am pairing him up with the Trophy Sack. 
Now he is a bounty hunter, after all, so having just the decapitation of the heads of his victims actually makes perfect sense. I know that theory is very dark, but you have to admit it's actually very cool since he is a bounty hunter. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the honey hitters. What I really like about the honey hitters, it does have honey or syrup on the blades themselves that complements the syrup on his head. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the cover crusader. Now the cover crusader does have that wild west feeling that is similar to that of the outfit. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the cash flow. The cash flow just made perfect sense since he is a bounty hunter. It's actually money that they paid him for actually completing his bounties, so it just looks really cool. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with Midas Memory. The Midas Memory is brown with gold, and then the gold actually complements the gold from the glider, and also complements the syrup very well. So let's check out this combo. For the honorable mention with man cake, you could pair him up with anything that does have a gold, brown, and even like a orange color scheme. It's gonna look really good with this outfit. For our first combination with a breakfast bounty, I am pairing it up with Fishstick with the pirate Edestout. Now this just makes perfect sense. Fishstick is a pirate so he could have been given this back thing as a reward for him and he didn't realize he had pancakes so it just fits very well with the dorky self of Fishstick. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the heavy hook. The heavy hook itself is basically just a fish hook that does have that extension on it that just complements Fishstick because of the whole thing. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the conquest. Fishstick is a pirate, so him having a ship just made perfect sense. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Flying Standard. The Flying Standard is basically just a pirate ship flag on his hand and it just fits very well. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Amber. The Amber wrap does fit very well with this combination because of the syrup that the pancakes do have and then it does have that brownish color scheme that complements his outfit. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the breakfast bounty, I am pairing it up with Aura with the Winter Hunter Edestout. Now the Winter Hunter Edestout does have like that similar color scheme to that of the back thing itself, especially on her jacket. It actually matches really good and then the syrup from the honey itself does match really good with the beanie she does have and the gold necklace she also has. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to go with the gold crow. The gold crow harvesting tool is a very solid harvesting tool that does have that gold color scheme that matches Aura perfectly. And for the glider, we're going to be going with the safe cracker. The reason behind the safe cracker is that it is a safe with gold on it and money and the sack itself from the back lane matches really good with the sack of money that the glider does have. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the pick a card. Now the pick a card control is a very simplistic control and it just matches really good with the whole thing. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the radiant runes. The radiant runes wrap does have that gold color scheme with black that just matches perfectly with aura. So let's check out this combo.
for the honorable mention with the breakfast bounty you could pair it up with anything that does have gold green and even bounty hunters is actually gonna match really good with this backlink Those are the three combinations I did find for man cake and the two combinations I did find for the breakfast bounty. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe, I post videos or fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, two D's all together. Each time you guys use my code near the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and really help this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.